My friend Dynaman asked me my opinion about the fact that Itagaki doesn't include female fighters in the Baki series. Well, it's actually a very interesting topic to discuss, so let's talk about it. It is well known that women have not played a relevant role in the Baki series. In fact, this is usually the case in most Japanese series. If you have been following these kinds of stories for a long time, you will be used to women not having a major role in them. On the other hand, although women do not have a leading role in these kinds of stories, they are at least given a small moment or a supporting role to play. Even if it is a role without much importance, women are not totally left out of the story. For example, the most famous series have a woman who always accompanies the main characters. Sometimes she is given the power to heal or something like that. In the Baki series, this doesn't happen. Let's see another example with a series very similar to Baki. In Kangen Ashura, we have Carla, who belongs to one of the strongest clans. She is a very good fighter, and although she has not had a prominent participation in the series, we know she is there, and that is a precedent for more female fighters to appear in the future. In the Baki series, nothing like this happens. A woman has never been shown mastering any martial art, and the possibility that it could exist has never even been mentioned. And as I said, in the Kenken series at least we know that this is possible, and in fact we have seen it, maybe not in so much detail, but at least we know that women can also be good fighters. It's funny because in fact Baki's girlfriend is the daughter of one of the best fighters who have passed through the underground arena. I'm talking about Thaisen Matsumatho of whom I already made a video, you can watch it on the channel. This girl should have inherited some martial arts. While it's true that she has a tough character, she doesn't look like the daughter of a martial arts master. But leaving aside Itagaki's clear disinterest in adding female fighters to the series, let's talk a bit about what the series would be like if this were possible. I always had the idea that somewhere in the world, there was a girl with Hama blood. The ogre once said that he spread his seed all over the world. So, there could be many children of Yujiro all over the continents of the planet. Let's assume that Yujiro had 50 children in the whole world. It would not be so far-fetched to think that at least one of them could be a woman. The members of the Hama family are guys with high levels of testosterone, and if we take into account the paranormal plot that the series handles, everything indicates that those chosen to carry this blood should be men. But suppose against all odds a girl was born with Yujiro's blood, how strong would a woman with Hanma blood be? If we follow Ithagaki's logic and use Baki as an example, I would say that a woman with this blood should be at least half as strong as Baki. Of course, that's assuming this girl trains at the same level as Baki. Personally, I would love to see in the series a girl introduce herself in front of Baki and call him. That would be really crazy and fun to watch. Yujiro wouldn't mind fighting a girl, he's literally an ogre, and doesn't mind anything as long as he has a little fun. Because that's what a man does. On the other hand, Dopo is supposed to have been a karate teacher for a large part of Japan's population. So, why did we never see at least one girl practicing this martial art? Not even when the guys traveled to China did we get to see a woman practicing Kenpo. In conclusion, this is due to the preferences of the author of the series. You know what they say about Itagaki and his grudge against Americans? He always tries to put Japan above everything. The Baki series is aimed for a male audience, but you might be surprised to know how much of a female audience it has. But well, this is just my opinion, don't forget to leave me yours in the comment box. Tell us what you think about this topic, and tell us how you would introduce female fighters in the series. And well friends, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.